everyone, Corey Davis here, uh, back with you again here in Trenton, Florida. This is just over a couple of hours north of the Tampa Bay area, um, about 30 miles west of Gainesville. I give some people time to log on, but I have some updates for you can, about the, the deadly shooting of those um, two uh, Gilchrist County deputies. Um, so let me show you here, let me zoom in. Uh, some flowers are being placed, have been being placed all morning um, in honor and memory of those deputies. Uh, some American flags, and actually I spoke with a woman who placed these American flags right here. She said that they belonged to her late father who served in the Navy, and um, she wanted to pay her respects to those two deputies whose lives were taken uh, yesterday afternoon. So just to give you a quick recap of what happened, um, Yesterday around 3 o'clock, two deputies, 29-year-old uh, uh, Sergeant Ramirez and 25-year-old um, Deputy Lindsay, they were both eating lunch yesterday um, around 3 o'clock and then we're told that the gunmen went inside the building there, inside the, the business, ambushed them and, and shot them to death. Um, it, it isn't believed that they even had a chance to return fire. Um, the bullet holes in the window are believed to be exit holes. So at first deputies were thinking, um, at first investigators were thinking the gunmen actually fired from outside through the window into the restaurant, but now they believe that he went inside. But now they believe he went inside, so. Um, yeah, those deputies were having lunch. Um, when their lives were cut short. But these are the flowers being placed. Um, we did speak to a couple of people who were trying to pay their respects right now. So let me just give you a look. <coughs> this is in the town of Trenton, 30 miles west of Gainesville. That's the welcome tower right there. It says, thanks for coming. Welcome to Trenton. Um, this is a town with one stoplight, just over 2,000 people. Everyone knows everyone around here, is what I'm told. And they're all feeling this loss right now, for sure. Um, as far as the gunman goes, we know that he has a lot of ties to the St. Pete area, Pinellas County. There were actually 14, our team found 14 um, cases about him in Pinellas County. Um, and we're still trying to find out more about his ties and... Oh, somebody asked where the cameras in the building. I, we did ask that question and uh, deputies uh, weren't prepared to give us that answer just yet. They still have a lot of investigating to do. And we're told that this gunman is unknown to the deputies here in Gilchrist County. He's unknown to them, um, at least as far as they know right now. Uh, they still have some work to look into, but you know, who knows if that'll change. But they said before the shooting, they didn't know who he was. Um, so there's a whole lot of questions to be answered. Um, there are rumors, of course, going around in the community about what could be, what it could be, or what could be happening. But of course, you know, we will report the information that comes from law enforcement once they put all the facts together. Um, but this is the restaurant. Uh, one person, one business owner who isn't far from here, she told me that, you know, deputies frequent this restaurant. They go here a lot for lunch. It's one of their regular places. This one and another one is down the road. And, um, and now we're dealing with this tragedy. So Sergeant Ramirez leaves behind a wife and kids. Um, he was a seven year veteran in the force. And um, leaves behind his family as well. We're told that he's been with the sheriff's office here in Gilchrist for uh, three years. So we are trying to put the pieces together, figure out what ties this gunman had besides criminal ties, what ties he has to the Tampa Bay area, the Pinellas County area. 
and also trying to figure out um, who he is and who who's he who he's who he's known as in this area. Um, we're told that he lived in Bell, and that's a neighboring town, not far from here, actually, a short drive from Trenton. But it's definitely sad. The sheriff is. Uh, was having a tough time yesterday talking about it, talking about the deputies. Uh, even today, uh, a deputy from a neighboring county was trying to give us an update and he got emotional just talking about it and remembering those guys. He said he had a, he worked with them, he knows them. So just to give you a quick recap, at first deputies, um, investigators thought that the gunmen went or that the gunman shot through the window killing the two deputies, but now they know that he went inside the restaurant and ambushed them that way and shot them. Uh, and the bullet holes in the window, they believe, are actually exit holes. Um, and they aren't saying, investigators aren't saying yet how many shots were fired or what kind of weapon was involved, but uh, that's all part of their investigation. gunshot wound and witnesses say that he killed himself. Um, they found him dead inside of a Jeep that was uh, a little further down on the other side of this building here. Um, so I saw that Jeep here last night. We were here yesterday afternoon, not too long after it happened, and uh, the scene was of course totally different all of this right here was blocked off we did not have this access yesterday um, and now we're extreme we can be very close to the building surprisingly at this moment uh, there was a very moving uh, tribute to the deputies last night um, their bodies were escorted out of the out of the building and this whole area right here you see was filled with uh, standing on either side of the door they were um saluting and uh, as the bodies were carried out draped in uh, american flags and then they were escorted all the way down here out towards gainesville there was a huge caravan dozens and dozens of law enforcement officers from surrounding counties were here to be part of that caravan to escort those bodies uh, to Gainesville. That was a very moving moment and just uh, seeing the, the faces of the officers and never something that anyone wants to see. So as we get more updates, I will definitely let you know, but we do know that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FDLE, they are leading the investigation. So whatever information comes from them, we're told it's going to be up to the Gilcrest Sheriff's Office to release that info. So there's a chain that's going to, that the information has to go through and then they'll determine whether they, they want to let us know. But everybody is wanting to know why, what was the motive, what led him to doing this. And um, uh, officers want to know why too. But we will keep you updated. There's a link in this post. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a link in this post to the latest on the article pictures of the deputies um, and all of the newest information that we have on the gunman and his, his uh, connection to Pinellas County and to the Bay Area. But here's one last look at the flowers that are being placed. There is a candlelight vigil that's planned tonight at 8 o'clock in a neighboring town. I think the town is called uh, Newberry. It's about 20 minutes away from here. And so far, um, there's a good amount of people that they were going on Facebook. So it was said to be a pretty good showing. Uh, yeah, it's said to be a pretty good showing. And a lot of support from these deputies. So I'm just gonna scroll through here one more time through the comments to see if there's any questions that I might not have gotten to. Yeah. 
So we'll update you again. We have another crew that's going to be replacing me. We were, I was here last night with my photographer. We reported last night. We woke up early this morning. Reported on the morning news. So now we are on the I'll leave you with that. Thank you.